Lantern Movie Review 3D. Hal Jordan is fired because he costs his company and a government organization I'm not sure how many thousands of dollars because he likes to show off and this of course has him stressed although not about finding a new job as he never actually pursues that at all I'm not sure how he's supposed to earn a living from the dust the Green Lantern Corps pay you? Uh, anyway. After this, we're briefly introduced to his family just to establish that he has one, even though they're going to disappear from the movie entirely after that point and never be brought up again. He is then taken away by a dying member of the Green Lantern Corps because the ring has chosen him. I personally think it had, you know, some kind of vision problem. I was probably aiming for someone else, but, you know, you work with what you got. And he is then trained in the ways of being a Green Lantern. And around that same time, a being known as Parallax, the force of fear is released from his prison and he you know he's evil so he tries to conquer stuff i'm going to start this one off just by listing the positives just just to get them out of the way this can be quite visually attractive some of the Green Lantern the objects created by the ring are relatively creative. My mouth isn't working tonight. Mark Strong is in it, and he's... Yeah, he, the man has immense screen presence, just... yeah. And yes, you know, the, the big black guy from Green Mile is as well, but he has like five lines. And, you know, he doesn't even get the benefit of using his face to aid in the performance. Actually, is Sinestro, you know, CGI, I'm not entirely sure. I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's about it. The film is average as they come. It is just extremely straightforward. It hits all the notes you'd expect it to and plays it extremely safe. We have... They play it so safe that the comic relief best friend character isn't even comic relief. He is so bland. He doesn't have anything resembling you know, personality, we have this character who's, I think, supposed to be a strong, you know, female character, but she just comes off as insufferable. She's just obnoxious and annoying, you know. She doesn't come off as someone that you'd get behind, you know. She just comes off as someone you want out of your life. Ryan Reynolds... Ryan Reynolds, his way through the movie, the dialogue is just bad, utterly uninspired. Most of the action is not all that compelling, really, and in general, it just isn't that exciting of a movie. It's not outright boring. I wasn't really, you know, just wanting it to, you know, get over with, but it also just really doesn't leave much of an impact. I expect I've forgotten this movie by the time I wake up tomorrow, at least most of it. The 3D is pretty good, and you know, it is a movie, if you're gonna watch it, why? Watch it in 3D, obviously. The the climax isn't bad. It does have some scope to it, and it does feel like, 
you know, a superhero kind of finale to a movie. I have not read a lot of Green Lantern, so I can't say for sure, but I do think this stays pretty close to the whole thing. You know, basically, the, the ring, you know, grants the wearer who has to be chosen the power to create objects just by using his willpower, the green, the emerald green power of will. And then there's the opposite, which is the power, the, the yellow power, the power of fear. And, you know, Sinestro is in it, played by Mark Strong, really well. We see Oa, I think that's how it's pronounced. We see the Guardians, who look like cranky old people with some kind of, you know, frontal lobe hemorrhaging going on. There's just you know, humongous foreheads. I don't know what that's about. The writing is really bad, just, there are holes all over the place, such as, not long after, you know, his Green Lantern training, he decides to just fly home, you know, from Oa, that he's just only gotten to. How did he know to get back there? Oh, right, it's in the ring, the ring that brings knowledge, so much knowledge that right after that you know, knowledge database in the ring is established, we have another line providing more knowledge. Why would you even bother writing yourself out of the hole of how is he going to know all this stuff because we can't possibly have characters share it all and then right after have characters start sharing stuff? The film just doesn't have much of an impact. You know, there are things that should be dramatic but just aren't. We're left with no one to really care about, all in all. You know, Reynolds himself is just... The character's kind of a jackass and not really compelling at all. It's not entirely clear what his motivations are. You know, he is a hero, although he doesn't actually do that much heroic stuff that doesn't relate to Parallax in some way. But yeah, and he's got the whole, this isn't a spoiler, it's revealed in the first half hour of the movie or so, he's got the kind of Top Gun, you know, thing going on. He's actually, he's attacked viciously by flashbacks during a flight, and you know, it's just more proof that, you know, yeah, Top Gun is a good movie. We, we, we knew that already. You don't have to, you know, remind us and recycle it. You know, the pilot, you know, haunted by the memory of another pilot who died who was close to you, you know, just... I don't think real fans are going to be able to tolerate this movie much at all. And basically, if you're not completely convinced to leave your brain at home and far away, maybe just grab a box, a shrine, just bury it. And just, you know, I, I try to, and I still found myself questioning this movie. And just try to enjoy the visuals. Other than that, you're not going to get anything out of this movie. I keep hoping that Ryan Reynolds is suddenly going to just really rock in a good superhero movie. Because he can do it. But we, instead, we get the Blade Trinity this. X-Men Origins Wolverine. What... Ryan, fire your agent, or, you know, improve your instincts about these scripts. I know that you can play a good, a cool superhero character in a superhero movie. Not even necessarily the hero, just pick a better script. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.